Hi, I'm Scott Hodson, and I am a faculty member at Gaylord College in creative media production. My name is Chanel Barrick. I am a graduate of Gaylord College, both undergrad and graduate, um, with a creative media production degree. Janelle has had some wonderful opportunities since she's been here. Uh, she has been able to direct news. She's been able to start her own business. Uh, she has been out there working on client productions. And she left here having won a whole series of national awards behind her name, and including a major documentary that took her out to LA where she was able to interview all the key producers from a little show called The Walking Dead. Creative media is literally anything you want it to be. Um, it, anything from directing news to essentially making a movie to producing a documentary to editing um, a short story or it's, it's whatever you make it. Creative media production uh, is basically how do you tell a story using media? How do you take something and from beginning to end, the whole process of actually creating uh, uh, media that, that's effective, that, that tells a great story, that's entertaining, um, that meets goals and objectives. If you want to be an editor, if you want to be a director, if you want to be a producer, a cinematographer, um, an animator, a writer, everything you could possibly imagine you can make your way into that industry really if you're creative enough and you have um, a passion for this industry you can do whatever you want to do. It, it's really cool how we prepare students. Uh, we're not just going to teach in class. I mean you do have classes. I mean I am a teacher after all you should come to class. But the key is taking the things that you learn and then being able to put them into practice and then providing those opportunities to be able to do that. So there's a lot of different hands-on opportunities that students can get to actually be creative, to develop a portfolio, uh, to be able to leave college and say, hey, I was able to do this. And so when they go to work for somebody, they can say, I've already done that. You're getting to do real work um, with real clients, with real money, um, it, it's not—it's not just school. It's um, you're working alongside of professors and people in the real world. We have state-of-the-art equipment and facilities that it's hard to come by, even in the professional world. A lot of places don't have um, access to a jib or to these super nice cameras, and we just have it all at our disposal. Um, we have studios that you can go in and check out on your own, not just as a class. You can go in and say, oh, I'm shooting this project. I'm going to check out this studio. So that's cool. We have our own, our own newsroom, control room. We just went through a $1.3 million upgrade of all of our equipment. So it's state of the art, high definition, absolutely phenomenal resources. There are so many paths to get involved in when you get into Gaylord. There's um, OU Nightly, which is a um, five day a week live newscast. And it's produced and directed and completely run by students. There's faculty members there to assist, but they're not doing the heart of it. Um, it's all students. It's, it's exactly as a real newsroom would run. Um, except you get to kind of have that trial and error and get to um, make mistakes and it be okay. Um, but it also completely prepares you for the real world. Um, if you go into a real newsroom after working with that, you realize that it's, it, it's exactly the same. Not only do we have our national awards winning show, uh, Sooner Sports Pan, where we actually go live on Fox Sports Every, every Monday, and we're there at, when, at 7 o'clock, we're being seen by in millions of homes to pick us up. But we also have Sooner Vision, a partner with us, with the athletic department, where we're working on live sporting events. And uh, we're, oh, used just like any national uh, professional uh, athletic program, where we have major media that's being done here. We have digital filmmaking. How do you make movies? And we have movies that are always going on. And students are working, and as, as underclassmen, you work on the upperclassmen's films, and, and you have films that are going on all the, all the time. Uh, and so you have 
that's one end of things. We have students that are in documentary, so we have documentaries that are being done. In fact, uh, we won a major award for one of the top documentaries in the country. Oftentimes we think creative media, you think movies, you think TVs, but there's also audio and music. And so here we also have that opportunity. We have an audio track where you get to um, host your own radio show. And once again, the sky's the limit. You get to choose whatever you want to do. We have several cool music shows, uh, uh, both for ra on radio as well as The Set. The Set was a show that was actually created by a student. They came up with the idea and the concept. We turned it into a class and said, we like your concept, we're going to run with it. We have a brand new FM radio station, Boom Radio, and uh, students run their own shows. They create their own shows, they run their own radio programs, and they have shifts, and they, they're, they're able to be their own uh, creative force. Uh, I teach, in particular, I run something called Gaylord Hall Productions. It's a contract production unit where we actually work with real clients and do real projects out there. Um, and last year, our students and we won a whole series of national awards that were not student awards. They were professional awards where we were competing with some of the top professionals in the nation. FEMA asked us to produce a whole series of videos on how to be prepared for earthquakes. So how do I go about that? We decided to take a summer and do the project where we built a house, of basically multiple rooms inside our studio rooms that could move and we could do different things with for production. And from that, I had 10 students working with me all summer and as basically a full-time job and we created nearly 50 videos uh, throughout the summer. Uh, and uh, some served as videographers, some served as audio, some served in public relations, uh, lighting, cinematography. They all had different positions that they served throughout the summer and basically we operated as a real production house. It was fun. We had professional talent that we brought in. We would go through and we'd shoot a scenes and we were using some fairly high-end equipment. We were, all of our shots had a lot of movement in them, a lot of lighting, a lot of sound, uh, and special effects as we had to create certain, certain different little effects as we're talking about what happens in an earthquake. You can't go anywhere without being exposed to whether it's magazines or billboards or newspapers or TV, commercials, movies, no matter what, everywhere you go, it's there. And so to have a profession or career and be educated in that is, is so exciting because you know it really does impact people all over. The number one export from the United States is not cars, it's not airplanes, it's media. It's our number one business in our country. We need to tell stories. We, people need to be informed. People need and love entertainment. People love that whole creative process. I find it so exciting to create something that's never been done. And I could have a client that has a need and I'm able to problem solve and come up with an answer and provide a solution to that need and basically pull out of thin air and make something extravagant that's never been thought of or never been created. Every day that I come to work is something different. I get to do my hobby for a living. I love telling stories. I love being creative. I love working with a team to create something where we all have our jobs and we have this outcome we're trying to come to and everybody has to do their little part and when it comes together you have this beautiful, fun, entertaining, exciting piece at the end. If you want to live in an animated world and create a whole universe in space or if you want to create a story about zombies attacking you or if you want to shoot a live doc, I mean a documentary of real life events Anything's possible, and so it's exciting to know that there's no limitations to what, what you can do.